edit feature will probably lag up everything, but let's see what the room looks like now. See if we made any errors. Let's test it. Test outside of the room if I can. Uh, okay. Don't know what that error was because my screen's small. Oh, let's make it bigger. Normally I use don't use that size of screen. I use this right here. But who knows? I broke something. All right, yeah, it worked fine there. Oh, it doesn't like that. All right, let's go in. Let's see what's going on. All right. Background's fine, like I said, it should be. We have the tide. It was pretty much set for us. We didn't have to figure out what our side should be since they're all set. Oh, we got an empty block there on that BTS. Something was wrong. And our guy did come out of that top right there. I forgot to send him to respawning, but he did come out right there. So from whenever he responds, he's going to appear right out of this crack, which it's still a little weird, but it makes more sense <laughs> than just having him appear out of nowhere. At least he looks like he comes from somewhere. Um, uh, all our BTSs work for the most part, except for that one, which must have had a uh, unsolid block, uh, air block behind it compared to the others. But otherwise, it's a good room. We have to fix that one error. Uh, you might want to make sure that you can't get stuck here. It looks like you can get out no matter what in case you didn't have more fall. Yeah, right there you might get a little stuck. You can looks like you can wiggle your way out. And that's just testing to make sure that Samus can not get stuck when these little sloped areas, especially when you use them around little small objects, because she can get stuck just by doing these little flips into these places. If you don't have more fall, it can cause a lot of problems, especially like right there <laughs> and right there. You get all in these weird places, which is why it's very, very important to use solid blocks as your uh, inner cavern look because if you don't doing something like I just did eh, not exactly like that if I can get up there again eh, maybe I can't but if I can get half my body up through this block if there's no solid behind it nothing solid behind it I'll be able to jump up and then I'm inside the wall and I get stuck because I can't get back out and there's just a lot of problem then why did I get through there yeah I have to check to see what I did. Let's go ahead and check that real quick. My guess is it must have been an unsolid block. And it was probably this guy right here. Yep, x-ray error. And that's just, you know, that's what testing's for. Go ahead and release this hack, then you got 50 million people uh, calling, or not calling you anything, but they're saying, look at this, I can squeeze out of here, or I can fall down here. And it makes it unenjoyable too, especially if you fall down there and you can't get back out. You just did some hard challenge that was in the room before. They didn't save state because they were either trying not to or they didn't figure anything was going to get them in trouble here. But this little slope that you forgot to put the air block, now they're stuck. They're never going to play a hack again because now they're upset. And <laughs> they just made it halfway through. They didn't get to the next room, which was your best room that you spent hours and hours upon working all because of one air block that you forgot to change to a solid. So it's very important to test. Very important to make sure your BTSs are right. Also on the ceiling it shows a lot of maturity in the hacking community if you have these top BTS slopes set up right since a lot of hackers, especially newer ones, don't do that. They'll leave these top ones just like that and it just causes Samus to stop there and it's just you expect Samus to work a certain way and when she doesn't it, it people get frustrated <laughs> and as I said they stop playing your hack for the rest of the time and they never get to see all the work you put into it so this w ended up being a lot longer video than I thought it was going to be but as you can see a simple two screen room uh, my guess this was probably about a half an hour or so of video I haven't checked yet but <laughs> it just shows how much work and effort it has to be put into rooms like these and imagine just doing the landing site it takes hours to make a real nice and complex room which shows a lot of work whenever you see somebody put a nice screenshot up there so hopefully this helps some beginners maybe some advanced users if they're watching but most of this is no knowledge once you get to a certain level um, well thanks for watching and I'll be trying to put more out as I can thanks